Bright Lights, Big City, and SEMA. Tommy and Kathy are back in Las Vegas for more here at SEMA. We've got a lot to show you, so enjoy the ride. SEMA Show, right now. Performance TV. We're at SEMA 2015 in Las Vegas. There's so much to see at SEMA, but one of my favorite parts, Hot Rod Alley. I'm with Mike Spagnola. Hot Rod Alley's my favorite. You're going to see a little bit of everything here. It's just so cool, and to see all the restaurants here, uh, to see the new creations, I just, you know, every time we think that uh, uh, it can't get any better, it just does. I mean, Hot Rod Alley has 32 Ford, 62 Chevys, just a little bit of everything that everybody's customized. Some of the be most beautiful cars I've ever seen. You, you do see that. You'll see everything from serial matching uh, restored hot rods and, and muscle cars to uh, resto rods to uh, 32 Fords, Cadillacs, I mean, you name it, and the quality just gets better and better. Yeah, and something I'm seeing new this year, the imports, some of the imports in, the, in Hot Rod Alley, but they're the older imports with new modern day running gear on them. You're right. It looks like the next generation is now looking at Japanese cars, and they're both doing them in a couple of ways. They're doing uh, exactly restored models, but they're also doing resto rods. They're doing rat rods. Uh, they're taking uh, old Datsuns and putting modern engines in them, modern technology, you know, Mazda uh, suspension and running gear into into a old Datsun truck. It's just amazing to see that next gen kind of following our footsteps, but with different vehicles. Now, there's everything here. We've got a lot to see, so let's get started. Kicking it right off with Michael at Aturo Tire. Michael, you guys have a bunch of new stuff this year. Yes, we do. Our first product that we've introduced at SEMA is our new AW730 Ice. This is our first winter tire designed for SUVs and crossovers. Aturo is a brand that solely focuses on the SUV, crossover, light truck, off-road type of a market. So this is the first pure winter tire that we've brought to the market, so we're very excited about it. So that's launching for new product orders in 2016 winter season. So the other main new product that we've got, we'd like to show to you up here in the front. And this is our brand new Trailblade Boss MT. So as you can see, this is a large format off-road tire. It's made for hardcore applications. We've followed with our Trailblade family style of incorporating designs from Quartermaster knives. You can see the large tread block elements here are modeled after the knife blade. Again, a large format knife that's made for hardcore use, and we've brought that same style into the tire. Wow, it, not only aesthetically pleasing to look at, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, but it, it's gonna do the job. Absolutely, these are, these are really made for extra large sizes, starting in 37 inch, going all the way up to 40 inch, made for that hardcore rock crawling, off-road, mud bogging type of a, of a use. Okay, so we've talked about snow, we've talked about mud, but you guys have a bunch of other stuff too. Absolutely, so we've got a couple of other uh, additions to the current product range that we've got. So we've got our ultra high performance tire for SUVs, the modern SUVs carrying a lot more horsepower than they used to, we've got a tire that'll work for it. So we've brought some additional sizes in our AZ850 line. That's one of our exciting items. The other one that we really like are in our Trailblade XT, which I really think is the future of the off-road market. It's a tire that gives the outward appearance of a mud terrain, but it's got a much better ride quality with a more all-terrain type center tread. And we've got some new sizes in that that are really exciting. Okay, lots of exciting things going on, not only with the Turo tire, but all over the show here at SEMA. And let's see what Tommy has for us next. If you're looking to protect the load in the back of your truck and you don't want to put a tonneau cover on it, we've got the fix. It's Rough Sack. Rob, this is a neat product. Tell me about it. Um, we developed the product as a means of protecting cargo in the back of your truck. Uh, about two years ago, we launched with a six-foot model, which is designed to you know, throw it in the back of your truck from wheel well to wheel well, from the front to the tailgate, and you put everything inside the bag, secure it, zip it up, weatherproof your items while you're use, utilizing it, and when you're done, just take it out and clean it and be ready to use it again later. Right, now this isn't something you're permanent. You can use this, you throw it in the truck, secure it, you, it'll weatherproof, keeps everything nice in the back of the truck. Yes, sir. Uh, completely weatherproofs everything in the back of the truck, and then with our new heavy-duty model, this one actually is waterproof model as well. Right, this is something you're introducing at SEMA. This is a little different look. This is a little tougher, a little, a little stronger, than what you have on the market? Yes, sir. They're definitely a lot more thoroughly tougher. Uh, we've already had this one commercially tested to military spec for durability, waterproofing, and uh, dustproofing. Now, the, if I wanted to use one of these, I don't have to put it in the back of my truck, right? I could use it anywhere. It's, it's, it keeps the uh, everything what I put in it nice. Uh, yes, sir. As a matter of fact, uh, we have friends of ours that have used them actually just outside for inclement weather for, you know, just to secure some stuff outside. I got a new truck. I don't really want to put a tunnel cover on my truck because I don't like that look. This is something I can use if I'm traveling. going to be bad weather. 
Yes, sir. I mean, uh, that's what it's designed for. It's designed to keep the rain, the snow, the sleet, the dust, everything out, everything out the bag. Right. I don't want to put my clothes in the back of my truck and haul them down the interstate and have it rain on it. Man, I'll tell you what, i got to get one of these rough sack. Be sure to check them out. Hey, we're going to take a break. We'll have more from SEMA on Performance TV. This special SEMA edition of Performance TV presented by ARP is being brought to you by Dustless Blasting. It's the future of surface preparation. Diesel Conversion Specialist. Power for the long haul. Wizards Products. Make it shine. And by Plyworks, the one and only rack for pliers. Welcome back to Performance TV and our continued coverage here at the 2015 SEMA show at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And Kyle, we've had you in the studio. We absolutely love what AP Laser can do. We've seen it in action. What are you doing out here at SEMA? We had fun in the studio, but we're having even more fun here at SEMA. I'm um, doing a little bit of the smaller stuff, doing the business cards with the QR codes, um, helping brand people coming by, giving us their company logos, putting it on there real quick for them. Uh, not only can we do the small stuff, we can always do that big stuff for you as well. You know, and this is a great idea for someone to add this to diversify their shop. Right. Yeah, it's a great way. Sometimes you get in that slow season during those winter months where you're looking at bringing a little bit more income. With the AP Laser, it's a great way to diversify into different markets. Um, donation bricks, awards, personalized gifts. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah, and it can pretty much work on anything. Any surface. Um, you want to stay away from PVC and Kevlar. That's not going to be fun for you. But it'll engrave just about any material. It's also going to do a lot of cutting as well. We know it can do socks. Yes, it do socks. <laughs> you know, because we, we, we got a chance to see this in action back at yeah. the studio, and it, it's really quick. It, uh, it is. We can operate up to speeds of 50 inches per second as far as engraving purposes. Um, it's quite simple. The machine itself is very easy to uh, use. We do provide advanced software training as well if you need any help with the software. And I, I take a look behind us and, and just see all of the things that you guys have been able to do. Just This is such a small sample. Right. Yeah, we've been having fun. Everything you see here is from this machine right behind me. Um, and like you said, it is just a small sample what the AP Laser can actually do. If folks want to find out more and then didn't get a chance to come out here, how can they get in touch? Well, you can either reach us at www.aplaser.com or give us a call, 800-449-2481. All right. Well, we can't wait to, to see you do some more stuff, Kyle, and, and thanks so much. And you can find out more, like you said, just hop on their website. And Tommy, what more do you have for us? I found something at SEMA that's going to keep your car running great. It's called Boostane. I'm with Ian from Boostane. What is Boostane? Uh, essentially, we're a race fuel alternative. We have the capability of transforming regular pump fuel to a, a race fuel equivalent all the way up to 116 octane, which we're the only ones on the market able to do that right now. Now, it's not like you go to the parts store and just dump in this whole can. You're able to blend your own fuel, get the right mixture exactly for what you want. Exactly, exactly. We want to take the guesswork out of it for our customers uh, and give them the capability to have the fuel uh, at their fingertips that they really need depending on what kind of vehicle they have. Anywhere from a race car that needs the 110 or 116 uh, to, the, to the average tuner that just wants uh, more performance out of their, their, their regular car. Right, now race, racing gas can be hard to find sometimes where you're located. You can take a, go to a local uh, gas station, get regular pump gas, add this to it, and make your own race fuel, but when you go to the track, you don't have to have race fuel sitting around, stored in your garage, maybe a little bit dangerous. You can just go to the, to the local gas station, and use your boost stain, and you're ready to go. Exactly, exactly. You could, you could essentially take a, a case of our product, which contains six quarts, and depending on the, the, the octane that you're looking for, blend drums of race fuel as long as you can get to a gas station and utilize our, our smartphone app. Right, now I like that smartphone app that helps you blend it. And this is not only for race cars, this is for your local tuners as well. If you got a car you, that requires a little better than pump gas, it, mm -hmm. it's not going to damage your engine with running weak gas. It's going to it's going to keep it running well. Yeah, exactly. So utilizing our proprietary blend, um, we allow we, we allow tuners and speed shops uh, to to offer their customer more performance uh, out of the, the the hard parts that they're selling them right there. So as long as they are utilizing boosting every time they're filling up. Uh, they can get that, that, that more performance that they're looking for every time that they, they go into their speed shop. Well, I'll tell you what, you need to demand that your speed shop carry boost stain. It'll keep your car running great and performing well. Let's check in with Kathy and see what she has at SEMA. It's absolutely amazing when you bring something back to life when we started with what you're seeing there and bringing it to its new life here in this 1946 Dodge pickup truck. The innovation in the frame all the way through is just absolutely outstanding and that's really what SEMA is all about. It's about innovation. It's about creating new trends and this 
This is all mechanical. This is a 12 valve, six cylinder Cummins, and it hasn't had any nitrous put through it yet. Like you see all those nitrous bottles in the back? That's coming very shortly, but it is direct injection nitrous. It's already dynoed at over 1,200 horse. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like when they get the nitrous put to it? We'll have more from the 2015 SEMA show right after this. You're watching Performance TV SEMA 2015 from Las Vegas. Welcome back to Performance TV from Las Vegas, Nevada at SEMA Show 2015. Welcome back to Performance TV. If you have a heavy right foot like I do, you've probably banged through the gears a few times, and in order to do that, you have to have a solid clutch. I'm at Fidanza Performance with Jeff. You've got some products that are going to make sure that power gets put to the ground. We do, Tommy, indeed. Uh, we, we've been around about 20 years working in the driveline aspect, and what we have found is for that guy with a heavy right foot, we like to lighten up the rotating assembly, which allows the engine to spool up faster, which releases horsepower that's already in the car, but it has to stop at the end of the engine. So we want it to go all the way to the wheels. That is what we're trying to do. And our line has been able to do that from everything from sport compact to muscle car to European vintage, actually even to the old British vintage race cars. Yeah, you have a lot of array of clutches. What really impressed me, you make aluminum, you also make some steel and you have a new one, uh, Billet? We do, we do. Um, the, the lightweight flywheel is good for most of the street performance, but we found the extreme off-roaders and the rock crawlers actually want to have a, a, a higher weight. So we've designed a new Jeep flywheel that actually adds 14 pounds to the weight of the, to the flywheel, which allows them pretty much to idle up the side of a mountain. Got a new uh, Mustang clutch you're debuting here? We do. We're really excited about having the, a new lightweight aluminum flywheel for the 2.3 Ecotec. Uh, we took a 33-pound OE flywheel and our version is about 14 pounds. It's a flywheel that is field serviceable as all of our aluminums are. We have a replaceable friction plate that allows that flywheel once, once you go through your first clutch, you don't ever have to replace the flywheel. You don't even have to resurface it. You just put a new friction plate on it and it's like it was when it was brand new. If you're gonna do some hot rod and gonna power through the gears, you're gonna need a Fidanza clutch. Indeed. Tommy, it's always fun to see all the great new products and to see the folks who have won awards here at SEMA. Just want to say congratulations, Craig, on your award here for BBS. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Now, tell us about the wheel and, and, and what won. Well, the wheel that won was actually a, it's actually a special wheel that was developed for us here in the U.S. So it's a combination of our strengths using a road product along with a race-built center to, to build a wheel that will be durable for a street but looks just like one of our racing products. And this wheel is beautiful and just being introduced here, but this isn't the only options that are going to be available color-wise. Oh, no. I mean, it's paint is paint, so we can do it in a black and a titanium, and I'm sure customers will have other requests as we go along, but we just want to get the, for us, it's important to have the technical foundation right. Finishes are always optional. I see there's other great awards here, too, from all over the world, and, and that's what we got to think about. BBS is a, a company that's kind of a little bit all over the world. Yes, we are. We have production facilities in Japan doing all of our Forge products, in Germany doing the CAS products, and as well as the motorsports department in Germany as well. So we are quite fortunate this year. Love the motorsports side of it, and you guys have a couple of cars here on display. Now, the BBS products can be seen on cars all over SEMA, but there are two specifically that are really cool. We brought uh, through a, a tuning company, uh, Unplugged Performance, they've got a Tesla on display with a 21-inch CHR2 wheel that we did for them. And then we also have a new 991 GT3 with a new FIR wheel, which is a very over-the-top, fully machined, uh, special wheel built in our motorsports department. You want to talk about something kind of a little bit over the top and really one sweet looking wheel. And that's another new one that BBS just came out with. Right, the FIR wheel is a, a very unique wheel, special machining. Uh, our engineers in motor in motorsports in Germany are the best in the business. Absolutely, and congratulations again on all of your awards, and it's great to see you here you at, at SEMA. And it's just great to see all of the stuff that's going on. And Tommy, what do you have for us next? 
At the SEMA show, you see all kinds of neat things for cars, but you also see a lot of neat tools. And I'm at Clamp Type booth with Kevin. This is a really unique tool that is simple to use and makes some really nice stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah, the advantage of the clamp tight is it's a much cleaner solution than a regular standard hose clamp. And we get that even 360 degree seal all the way around. So let me show you how it works. It's nice and easy. Yeah, this is something that's going to take place of uh, zip ties or hose clamps, make it a lot nicer and cleaner look. Absolutely, absolutely. You can use it literally on any kind of hose under the hood of the car or anything like that. A nice little loop. You're going to run your ends through your loop and you're going to pull it tight. We're going to do the same thing again right through the middle this time. We're going to pull that tight again. Make sure we're not twisting because we want that even 360 degree seal all the way around. Stick your nose in just like that. Loop it around. Twist it just like a bread tie. Notch right at the end. <laughs> drops right in. We start to tighten it up. It's nice even. You see how it's getting that 360 degree seal all the way around. I'm going to take this in a little bit so I can show you how far I can go in with this and it won't cut my, wa my, cut my hose. And we'll flip it over, back the tool off, grab our cutters. We're going to do about a quarter inch on our, on our tabs. Bend that in just like this to make a nice little V and that locks our clamp down permanently. It will not vibrate loose, it won't come off. You can actually run your hand over top of it and it won't cut you at all, which I wouldn't recommend doing that with a regular hose clamp. You know, if you're doing air hoses and things, you can actually run your hand over. I wouldn't do that with that. <laughs> very nice, very simple to use, very strong. Absolutely. You can make a repair on the fly or you can make everything nice and neat and safe. Yeah, nice cool custom look. And it's simple to get back off. If you wanted to get that off for a change, your clamp lasts longer than your hose did, you're gonna grab it. And your clamp will literally, you can see that just bending right off. I love it. I've got to have one of these. You need one of these. Clamp tight. Check them out. We'll have more on Performance TV from the SEMA show right after this break. This special SEMA edition of Performance TV presented by ARP is being brought to you by Flatjack, the perfect tire protection. Extreme Polymers, experience extreme performance. Z-Dog, forged in quality, made in the USA. And by Steel Rubber, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. Welcome back to Performance TV from Las Vegas, Nevada at SEMA Show 2015. There are so many different highlights to the annual SEMA show here in Las Vegas. And one of the ones that so many look forward to would be the annual NHRA breakfast. This year, featuring the women in racing. And we've got some of the best in the business on the stage. Let's hear some of what they had to say. I was standing up here in front of the backdrop a few minutes ago looking at this and I figured like, which one of these doesn't belong? Five suddenly attractive, highly successful women and me. It was a joke. Absolutely, top fuel is, a, is my preference. It's the quickest, it's the fastest, it's the most badass. Um, but in, in regards to speaking about Shirley right now, uh, everybody here, female-wise, has a different dynamic of, of, of looking at Shirley and appreciating what you've done in the sport. And I think it's been very unique for me. I, I competed in the NHRA Heritage Series. I actually won the championship in 2010 in this Dutch a Funny Car. And to be able to race with individuals that got to race with you, and although we weren't competing at the professional level, I got to hear stories about racing against you. And it, it, even though I didn't really, I didn't know you, right? You're, you're this star figure and I would see you at the Winter Nationals. I felt like I had a sense of home because I got to participate with people that got to race with you against on the track. So that was very unique and we all have a different dynamic there. When I, when I first fell in love with NHRA drag racing, I went to the Winter Nationals in Pomona and I was 16. And um, I had seen it on TV, you know, a ton of times. I saw you, Shirley, and I saw John Force, and I saw everybody. But uh, I uh, just absolutely fell in love with those funny cars, and, and I, I wanted to do that. That was something that was on the top of my list. I think one of those in particular would probably be, um, gosh, right when I hit the throttle, it just blew up in my face, and that's one of those why, what, you know, what went wrong. Uh, you know, you, you hit the throttle ready to go down the racetrack at over 300 miles an hour and you're stopped instantly. Um, but yeah, there's there's definitely been a few instances uh, when the car blows up in your lap, obviously the motor's right in front of you and 
you get to see all the excitement and the ball of fire, but um, to be honest, I'm, I'm pretty lucky I haven't had anything too uh, crazy, nothing, uh, nothing like what my, my dad's had, <laughs> luckily. So, um, yeah, it, it hasn't been, it's been too bad for me. Just loved watching it growing up, uh, the in-car cameras with the, the old Lenko transmissions where you had to pull each lever separately. I'd sit in this beanbag chair in our game room and we had a full-size tree and I'd sit in it and I'd pretend like I was driving the pro stock car, but that was always what interested me. It was uh, your factory hot rod class and it's, uh, it's my favorite. I actually went and got my alcohol funny car license after I won my first national event in Supergas and that was the route that I was going to go is to drive a nitro funny car. And the guy that was uh, having me go to work for him said, if you can go drive an alcohol funny car, you can drive one of these. So I went to Frank Holly's and Robert Hype was actually in my class. And that was pretty cool. And, and after I won that Houston event with plans to go Nitro funny car racing, uh, that's when he hooked me up with Victor Cagnazzi and uh, my post-doc career started. So I've loved it from the get-go. Um, it's a really fun, crazy car to drive because it's so on the edge of out of control. Like these, all, these ladies all go way faster than us, but we have no doubt force I gotta leave with the clutch I gotta shift so it's, uh, it's definitely interesting nobody else been on the Johnny Carson show yeah he was great he was great they wanted me to wear my fire suit they kept telling me no you didn't you know what you want you uh, oh you only want to wear your fire suit no I wear my fire suit all the time so I went you know it was an excuse to buy an outfit but I um, <laughs> I went on the show I was nervous as heck um uh, Ed McMahon was wonderful, and they had a thing where uh, they always made sure that everyone knew that Johnny Carson never goes down to the makeup room, ever, never. But he did for me. He came down to meet me before the show. Interesting. And uh, he did his homework. But then they had me go to the golf cart race, and that was fun. Well, and there you have it, yet another memorable SEMA and a memorable SEMA at HRA breakfast featuring the women of NHRA. If you get a chance to come out to SEMA some year, you definitely need to check this out. And you know what? We need to check out right now, but we'll see you next week here for more of Performance TV.